Thank you again for joining me for another session of Move Your Body and Speak English. I'm Cinzia. We're going to continue with synonyms, so words that are different but have similar meanings. Let's start with this one. We have an image of a woman, a female, possibly a girl. We don't know her age. She's wearing a tiara, lipstick, earrings, and possibly mascara on her eyelashes to make them very long. We could say that she is pretty. She's pretty. We could also say that she is beautiful. She's beautiful. You can also say she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Here we have a different image. You can see a red pointy hat, straggly hair, gritted teeth, eyes popping out of his head or her head, and pointy ears. Also, we can see a, a bump on the nose, it could be a wart. We can call this person, label the person as wicked. Wicked. You can also say that this person is evil. Evil. Or we could say nasty person. Nasty. These are all labels that we can give to this image. One thing to say is that the word wicked nowadays, some people are using that word in a positive way, like it's something really good. But generally, wicked is not good. It's evil, nasty. Here we have an image of a person's face looking up and backwards, two ears, two nostrils, one nose, orange hair or red hair and sweat coming off this person's head and a neck here. We can't see the chin. This head is tilted backwards. His head is tilted to the back. So that can't really see the chin, but we can see a very wide open mouth and some upper teeth, the upper teeth. So when we open our mouth up very wide like that, and we make a noise, we make a sound, we use our voice, we could say that we can yell, yell. Very loud noise, a yell. You can also say, shout, shout out loud. We use our voice to shout. We can shout with joy. We could shout with joy or we could shout with grief. We could shout or yell with grief. In this image, it looks like he's grieving. He's sad, which is the same as similar to grief. Let's do some movement. So standing with our feet on the ground, on the floor, feel the whole foot touching, the heels touching, the toes touching. And 
Now bend the knees slightly so they're nice and soft and loose. And just begin with a shake, shaking out the body, shaking out the tensions, let the body loose. Keep shaking, breathing. Let's shake and turn as well. Turn our body as we shake. to your, your mind, it could be a baby, it could be a, a person that's an adult person or a grandmother or a grandfather or a brother or a sister or a friend or it could be something like in nature, just whatever is beautiful. Think of that and now bring that into you. Breathe it, breathe it into you, that beauty, something beautiful, something gorgeous. Just bring it right into you as you inhale and it goes into you. Open up the arms to the side as well and let the beauty come into you from the side. It goes into the top of your head and down into your body. Let's do that again on the sides, both sides. Let the beauty into you and again and now let the beauty from the back of you come into you as well the beauty from the back comes in and again and one more time the beauty comes into you and let that go and now think of something nasty something not very nice something evil wicked and so now let that out far away from you let that evil away from you push it out And also to the sides of you, push it out. So any of that not very nice feeling, evil, nasty, wicked, out of you. And to the back, bring it and let it go to the back of you. One more time. Ah, oh, it's gone. And now, let's imagine that we can shout. We see someone across the street and we want to get their attention. And so we, we shout out. Shout out as if you're saying, hey. Calling out to them, shout with your big voice so they can hear you and see you and turn around. Shouting for joy. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next week. Bye.